uh, I think the senator will help us out. We present this award to Prince Latif Agami. Uh, then after that, we continue with the unpaid before the award continues. Prince L.O. Fagbemi San, FCI ARB UK, African Legal Luminary and Man of the Year 2020. There is no better way to describe one of the highly respected legal icons and an accomplished jurist, Prince Latif Olasukomi Fagbemi, a senior advocate of Nigeria, who has created a niche in an admirable and enviable way in the legal profession. In fact, we are therefore tempted to equal him with an American erudite jurist, Albert Patsoto, a former chief judge. Prince L.O. Fagbe Misan was born on the 16th of July 1959 into the family of Prince Alauddin Olagunju Adeyeye Fagbe Mi of Oba's compound, Ijago, Kwara State of Nigeria. Latif, as a young boy, exhibited early signs of brilliance and love of scholarship that translated into academic excellence. He went to the University of Joss and obtained Bachelor's of Law's degree, LLB Honors, graduating with a second class upper division in 1984. He was at the Nigerian Law School, Lagos, where he passed his bar examinations and was called to the Nigerian Bar in 1985. Prince L. O. Fagbe Misan joined the law firm of Chief Afe Babalola San for the mandatory National Youth Service Program. He later became an integral part of this famous law firm and left no one in doubt of his greatness. However, in spite of his demanding schedules in office and his various engagements within and outside jurisdiction, proceeded to the famous Obafemi Awolowo University, Ileife, and obtained a Master of Laws, LLM degree, and rose to be the head of chambers of Affair Babalola, San and Co. All these sterling qualities did not go unnoticed by those who are at the top hierarchy in the legal profession and thus conferred on him the highest rank in the legal profession, Senior Advocate of Nigeria, San on the 9th of September 1996, after 11 years at the bar, a record yet to be equaled not to talk of being beaten. Most notably, he was the lead counsel to former governor Broti Mechi BK and Mechi and led all the legal tussle between the governor and the People Democratic Party culminating in the unprecedented judgment of the Supreme Court of Nigeria, which pronounced Amechi as the validly elected governor of River State in 2007, even though he was unlawfully disallowed from participating in the governorship election. He also led the All Progressive Congress legal team of the 2019 Presidential Tribunal, that truncated the ambition of Alaji Atiku Abubaka of the EDB. Conclusively, Fagbemi started his law firm in the year 2000 when he commissioned Temitopa Chambers 22, Faguyi Road, MK Wabiola Estate, Eko Tedo Ibadan. As at now, an Abuja office has been opened at Rivers House central area, Abuja and plants. Prince Latif Fagbe Misan is happily married with children. Indeed, today's award to you by African Watch Network as the African Legal Luminary and Man of the Year 2019 through 2020 is a call for more service to Nigeria and Africa in general.
because I associate his name with the name of Professor Abdel Baba Zadassi, the Vega government. I think there are two luminaries, and it's nice really to be to have the opportunity of presenting you this award. Watch Lifetime National Grand Mentor, ALNGM. Our service to humanity would not go in vain. It is true that our ancestral wisdom has reminded us on why our purpose in life is to continuously promote the good as best as we can. In doing this, we are divinely rewarded by the Almighty God with the good of affluence, good of progeny, and good of immortality. Yes, we cannot talk of the growth of African Watch Network without the names of those to be conferred with the African Watch Lifetime Grand National Mentor, ALNGM, whose contributions have widened our horizon and scope. They have consistently supported, offered professional advice, and had given economic opportunities to the media outfits. We cannot overemphasize this, thus a grateful heart. Graciously, the impact of Chief Dr. Nzeribe Okebwe JP cannot be quantified, especially providing job opportunities and mentoring of young people across Nigeria. He is the MDCE of Combatant Guards Limited, Nzebatech Nigerian Limited, and many other companies with head office in Lagos and branches in southeastern and southwestern states of Nigeria. Dr. Okebwe JP is a graduate of Cornerstone University and Seminary School Jerusalem, Israel, and USA, University of Calabar, Cross River State, Ecotes University, Republic of Benin, and Espam Formation University, Republic of Benin, and obtained the following qualifications BA Theology, MA Sociology of Religion, BSc Human Resource Management, Masters of Business Administration, MBA. Doctor of Philosophy in Business Administration and Doctor of Philosophy in Criminology and Security Studies. He is a member of the American Society of Industrial Security, ASIS, Vice Chairman Association of Licensed Security Practitioners of Nigeria, Lagos Zone, and Fellow, Nigerian Institute of Industrial Security, Fellow, the Institute of Brand Management of Nigeria, Fellow, Chartered Institute of Local Government and Public Administration of Nigeria. Fellow, Institute of Transport and Management Technology of Nigeria, to mention a few. Chief has traveled around the world with various international business partners. He has received multiple awards for security professionalism and mentorship to young people. He is happily married with children. Meanwhile, for Senator Dr. Femi Okunromo, CON, a man who has devotedly served Nigeria at the start of the Fourth Republic, representing Ogun Central constituency of Ogun State, has been the Nigerian John the Baptist. Who cares not whose ox is God? He has remained relevant in the political and economic circle for years. He is an elder statesman who strongly believes that the current Nigerian leaders lack vision and direction. Senator Kuromo attended Government College Ibadan GCI 1952-59 and led his class academically in the WASC 1957 examination, 
getting distinction in all subjects except English language, where he had a credit. He led his HSC class in the HSC 1959 examinations with distinctions again in all his subjects. Led the first batch of 24 Nigerian students, of which eight of them are GCI students, who won the Nigerian American Scholarship NASPAL in 1960, which gave them the opportunity to attend Ivy League universities in America. Thus, Senator Okurumu attended Harvard University, Cambridge, Massachusetts, USA, 1960 to 1963. Obtained a BA in Engineering and Applied Physics, summa cum laude, with highest honors, equivalent to British University first class. He was elected into the Honorary Society of Phi Beta Kappa for excellence in the liberal arts. Others include Massachusetts Institute of Technology, MIT, Cambridge, Mass, USA, 1963 to 67, DSE Mechanical Engineering, Senior Research Engineer in Aerodynamics, United Technologies Research Laboratories, East Hartford, Connecticut, USA, 1968 to 69. This elder statesman was a senior lecturer in the Department of Mechanical Engineering, University of Lagos, 1969 to 1979. He was a foundation member of the Abolowo led Unity Party of Nigeria UPN, and a member of its National Executive Council 1978 to 1983. At different times between 1979 and 83, Senator Okurumu was a former commissioner for trade and cooperatives, former commissioner for works and transport, and former commissioner for finance and economic planning, all in Ogun State, where he distinguished himself among his equals. Senator Okuromo was a foremost leader of the National Democratic Coalition, NADECO, 1993 to 1999, and founding chairman of Alliance for Democracy, AD, in Ogun State, between 1998 to 2003, who fought imperialism and dictatorship in the country. This effort resulted in becoming a senator of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, representing Ogun Central Senatorial District, 1999 to 2003. He was also the Secretary General of the Pan Yoruba Social Political Organization, Afeni Ferry, 2004 to 2011. Based on his immense contribution to the struggle towards democratic and civil rule, he was awarded the National Merit Award of GCIOBA in 2005 and awarded the National Honor of Commander of the Order of the Niger, CON, in 2004. Indeed, your conferment today as African Watch Lifetime National Grand Mentor, ALNGM, is reward for standing firm against all odds and devotion to the progress of Nigeria. Truly, one of the noble professions in the world that comes with so much sacrifice is the services of the military. It is a service of strength and honor. Colonel Barrister Bayomi Dari retired is the founder of a security services outfit called International Master Security Systems Limited, IMSS, and also the principal partner at the law firm of Yomi Dari and Company. He's a member Nigerian Bar Association, MBA. Colonel Dare retired as a graduate of the Nigerian Defense Academy in 1979, and having been a member of the 26th Regular Combatant Course, he was commissioned as a second lieutenant in 1982. Interestingly, Yomi served as an aide de camp to the former military governor of Oyo State between 1985 to 1988. In 1990, he went to the University of Ibadan to study law and thereafter proceeded to the Nigerian Law School, Lagos. Later on, he went on to Amadu Bello University, Zaria, and the University of Ibadan, respectively, where he obtained both Masters in International Affairs and Diplomacy and Masters in Strategic Studies. He is also an alumnus of the Defense Institute of International Legal Studies, Newport, Rhode Island, USA, where he studied legal aspects of combating terrorism, military law development program, and peacekeeping in accordance with the rule of law. Between March 1994 and May 1995, immediately after the 1994 genocide, Colonel Yomi was part of the United Nations peacekeeping mission in Rwanda. He also served in the Nigerian contingent in Ekomog as a prosecuting counsel. 
Colonel Dari retired or rose to the position of a director of Nigerian Army Legal Services. This was between August 2007 to December 2008. He supervised the directorate of the Nigerian Army Legal Services and also acted as the advisor to the Chief of Army Staff on Legal Matters. He delivered African Watch second lecture in 2018 and also received the media's outfit Gold Merit Award. Since then, he has continually played a key role towards the growth of the media outfit. The inclusion of Professor Kanu Ikechuku Anthony, a Catholic priest of the Order of St. Augustine Province of Nigeria, is as a result of his input to the growth of African Watch Network an eminent ecclesiastic and an accomplished scholar. He is a professor of religion and cultural studies. Father Kanu is the rector of Villanova Polytechnic Oshogo, Oshun State, Nigeria. He is one of the most rated scholars internationally by Google Scholar, the international indexing platform in the areas of African metaphysics, African bioethics, African traditional religion, and African cultural studies. In the area of African philosophy, Professor Kanu is only surpassed by Thaddeus Metz, the South African Distinguished Professor of the University of Johannesburg. Father Kanu has first-class bachelor's degree in philosophy from Obanian University Room, a first-class in religious studies from the University of Jos, Nigeria, master's degree in religion and human re relations from Nnam Jazitwe University, Oka, and his second master's degree in metaphysics from University of Nigeria, Nsuka. In addition, he holds a PhD in religion and human relations from Nnam Jazitwe University, Oka, with specialization in African traditional religion and a postgraduate diploma in education. Professor Kanu has been certified in e-learning by UNESCO Bangkok, Certified in Professional Studies in Research Methods, Dissertation Writing and New Trends in Education by London Graduate School, London. Certified in Advanced Negotiation Strategies by the prestigious Harvard University, Boston, USA and in Influencing People by the Business School of the University of Michigan, USA. He has also been certified by HEC International Business School, Paris, France on Building Your Leadership Skills. He has been certified by the College of Business, University of Illinois, Urbana Champaign, USA, on Foundations of Everyday Leadership. He has been certified in Creative Writing, The Craft of Plot by Wesleyan University, USA, and on various dimensions on leadership and human development by the Young African Leaders Initiative Network of the United States Department of State. He is a member of several academic bodies including American Academy of Religion, AAR, USA, the American Philosophical Association, APA, USA, Alternative Perspective and Global Concerns, APGC, Canada, Igbo Studies Association, ISA, USA, International Society for Development and Sustainability, ISDS, Japan, Universal Researchers, UR, and Global Illuminators, United Arab Emirates. He received African Watch Gold Merit Award in 2007 for his contribution to knowledge and research. His contributions to the growth of African Watch is enormous and encouraging. The zeal that led Tunde Ladipo, Deputy Controller General of Nigerian Correctional Service covering duty CD, non-custodian directorate, into the security vocation can be traced to most of his philanthropic gestures to humanity, which opened his eyes to joining the service in 1989 as ASP. A man of providence who believed that industriousness and honesty pays. He was an officer in charge of Abeokuta Correctional between 2007 to 2008 and was the officer in charge of Ijebode Center between 2008 and 2010 and Ilaro Correctional between 2010 October and September 2012. DCG Ladipo was later moved to medium security prisons as the officer in charge from January 2012 to September 2012 until his transfer to medium security correctional Kirikiri Lagos from September 2012 to August 2014.
While he served there, his patronage gesture to image drew the attention of the Catholic Church. Based on this, he was awarded by the Catholic Correctional Chaplaincy at Diocese of Lagos, Nigeria on 13 September 2014. He's a graduate of both Ibadan Polytechnic for his HSC and the University of Ibadan where he obtained a bachelor's degree in history and political science and also a master's degree in public administration from Ladoki Akintola University, Ogbomosho, Oshun State. He has received close to 50 awards and commendations, both locally and internationally. He received African Watch Gold Merit Award in 2017 for his contributions to knowledge and research. His contributions to the growth of African Watch is enormous and encouraging. We congratulate you all for this honor. So at this stage, we are going to invite uh, Dr. Dr. Opi Modibedu, who is going to do the confirmment. I also present the confirmment to Dr. Uh, Senator Dr. Temi Okurubu, to Professor Timothy Atem, and also to Chief Dr. Zerbe Okikwe JP, and Reverend Father Professor Anthony Anno, everybody represented by Mr. Ama. The employed by Mr. Abayamita Retire and Deputy Controller General of Correctional Service, who is also represented there. So, we are now invite Dr. Mode Bello to do the presentation to this distinguished Nigerians. So, the, we will take, since they are six, we are going to take three, first three, and the last three. So, the, the we take Senator Dr. Femi Okurumu, C.O.M., and Professor Timothy Ate, and Tunde Tadeko. So Tunde Tadeko representative, please come forward. Senator Dr. Femi Okurumu, come forward. And Professor Ate, come forward. Basically, this is us saying thank you for being there for us. Thank you for being our backbone over the years. Thank you for calling us and uh, looking into our plights every time we call at you in the morning, in the night, in the evening. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'm standing on the existing protocol. Sir, Senator Dr. Femi, to see you. I am presenting you this award, recognizing all your contributions to the patient at large and also to the then Lord bless you, sir, as a continue to contribute to see this nation better. Congratulations, sir. Yeah, daddy, daddy.
Then we have the representative of Reverend Father Professor Anthony Khan OSA, represented by Mr. Amar. And lastly, from the Paris Abayi. This is for Chief Dr. Zeri Okekwe, GP, as African Watch Lifetime National Graphic Director Award. God bless you, sir. Dr. S. O. Owa, a great philanthropist with impeccable character. Olorogun Dr. Sunday Onojeta Owa was born into a Christian family of Owa. He had his primary and secondary education in Ondo State, where he lived with his late senior brother, Cardinal Dr. Noah Onosakonome Owa, who was a headmaster at that time. Later on, the young Sunday moved to the United Kingdom in the year 1970 for further studies. There, he obtained a certificate in business studies at the London College of Print in 1973, now London College of Communications, University of, of Arts London, SCI. Furtherance, as a young man who admires academic works with all sense of humility, proceeded to attend the Southwest london college sw4 for his professional diploma at the institute of marketing england and Wales in 1974 he thereafter went to the kingston polytechnic where he obtained his post graduate diploma in management studies in 1975 now kingston university others include university of lacanster where he obtained his master's degree in marketing management in 1976. He later backed a doctorate degree in business administration. Chief Dr. Sunday Owa worked in various capacities in London, from storekeeping to supervisory and management consultant, before coming back to Nigeria to start up his own business. Business experience. In the late 1978, Dr. Ova started his own business in a humble beginning with the importation and distribution of consumer goods, including clothing, electronics, and books. While in the late 1980s, he diversified into tourism business. Through his success in business and leadership capacity, Dr. Ova rose to becoming the president of the Lagos State Chapter of the Hoteliers Association of Nigeria, 1995-2001. He later went into real estate management, including land reclamation, property sales and leasing business renovations, construction, and property development. In the modest way of diligence and commitment, Dr. Ova became a patron 
to the Estate Agency Association in Lagos. Dr. Ova was a former Chairman Police Community Relations Committee, PCRC, Alakwere Division Headquarters, Lagos State Command, after building the station, and a fellow Paul Harris Fellow of Rotary International, and also a former District Governor Group representative of District 9114, Lagos and Ogun State. Dr. Ova established a non-governmental organization called Olorogun Sunday Ova Foundation, OSOF, mainly to assist with financial aid to the less privileged ones and give hope to the hopeless. The foundation has sponsored a lot of young people who are now graduates in various fields in their academic pursuits such as engineering, medicine, accounting, law and nursing while and also gave attention to widows for empowerment in small-scale businesses. This foundation has significantly added values to the satisfaction of life. To this, Dr. Ova received more than 50 awards, which included awards for selfless service community and humanity. Verily, your choice as the African Watch Philanthropist of the Year it's a sign that you live for others, which is the purpose of our existence. Solomon Akimboye, African Watch Academic Orator 2020. Solomon Oladele Akimboye is a professor of international relations and immediate past dean, School of Postgraduate Studies, University of Lagos. He had previously served as head department of political science, sub dean, faculty of social sciences, acting dean, faculty of social sciences, and acting dean. Student Affairs, University of Lagos. Born in Ejibo, Oshun State, he attended the University of Nigeria, Nsuka, University of Ife, now OAU, Ile Ife, and University of Benin, Benin City, where he obtained BSc honors in economics, NSC, and PhD international relations degrees in 1978, 1981, and 1989, respectively. Professor Akimboye enjoyed free university education at all levels with the Federal Government Scholarship Award for his BSc Honors Degree, Oyo State Bursary Award for his MSc Degree and Federal Government Postgraduate Scholarship Award for his PhD Degree. He was in 2000 a recipient of the prestigious Fulbright Fellowship which was utilized at the University of Belware, Newark, Belware and partially at Harvard University, Boston, Massachusetts, and the Foreign Policy Research Institute, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, USA. 
He was also in 2006 a visiting scholar in the Department of Political Science and International Affairs, Kennesaw State University, Atlanta, Georgia, USA, at different times. As a famous political scientist, he is a member of the Scientific Committee of the African Integration Review of the African Union at the Sababa, Ethiopia, and member of the Center for African Regional Integration and Border Studies Caribs Think Tank. He is currently a member of the Steering Committee of the Pan-African Inter-University Conference for Doctoral Studies. Professor Akimboye is an assessor for professorial appointment in some universities in Africa, including the University of Ghana, Legon, and Forabe Universities, Freetown, Syria Law. He has won several awards locally and internationally for academic excellence and leadership. Certainly, your award today as the 2019 stroke 2020 African Watch Academic Orator is as a result of your continuous contributions to the growth of quality education, research and leadership. Barrister Aru Ajayi, Peace Ambassador. His Royal Highness Oba Barrister Rufus Solari Waju Ajayi is the arch traditional ruler of the Gbomino Ekiti people and patriarch of Takpa Nukwe people in the central state of Kwara and southwestern state of Ekiti and Oshu states, respectively. He was installed on, on the throne 30th December 2015. Academically, Obaola Rewaju attended occasional primary school in Lorin Kwara State between 1975 to 1980 and obtained his first school living certificate. He went on to obtain his West African school certificate after attending both Omuonru High School and SC College in Lorin between 1981 to 1986. With his passion and thirst for knowledge, he went further to obtain an IGMB A level certificate in the School of Basic Studies of the Kwara State Polytechnic between 1987 to 1988, excelling among the three best A's results. To fulfill his dream, His Royal Highness Najai went ahead to study law at the University of Lagos, Akoka, Yaba, Lagos, in 1988 until he became a leader of the Students' Union, where he led peaceful protests against the Structural Adjustment Program SAP, of 1989 during the regime of General Ibrahim Babangidan and hike in school fees peaceful protest of 1990, culminating in his and others of his ill rustication from the university, upon which he quickly decided to go to another university, Ondo State University, Akungba, Oshua, to continue by starting all over again. The study of the same course law 
where he came out top of the class with a first class, did not really give the deserving pride and honor because he had wanted the University of Lagos result. This confirms the saying that man proposed but God disposes. He also obtained a master's degree in law, LLM, from Delta State University, Abraka, and the strategic certificate of the National Institute of Policy and Strategic Studies of Course 26, 2015 set of the highest political and public affairs training institute in Nigeria, thus enabling him to become a member of the National Institute, MNI. He was also a recipient of King Fasal Human Rights Hero HRH Award made in Saudi Arabia also in the year 2019. Others include Vanguard Personality of the Year Award 2015, African Personality Achievers Award of 2018 conferred on him in 2019 and the hallowed chambers of the House of Lords in London, United Kingdom, which event enabled him had an audience and a handshake with His Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, the Queen of England. Oba Ajayi is not only a global citizen. Having once addressed the General Assembly of the United Nations in Manhattan, New York, United States of America on December 12, 2012, he consults as legal expert for ex-head of state and ex-president in Africa which list include Liberia's Charles Taylor and Nigeria's Good Luck Jonathan, General Olusha Gombasanjo, and lately President Mohamed Buhari. We are proud that today you have won a new cap of honor as African Watch Royal Peace Ambassador. In fact, uh, I must confess that uh, if we if we have traditional rulers like you, because I listened to you uh, this afternoon, and uh, honestly, still uh, looking at uh, coming around to pay special respect, but as uh, as uh, Providence will have it, I'm here to present this award to you. And uh, for me, I feel highly honored and privileged. And um, I want to say uh, thank you, KBC. I am humbled. Um, I will pray that uh, your tenure will bring success and peace to your domain. Uh, you are very spectacular because you fear God. I see in everything you do, you fear God. And anyone who fears God, you will be lifted. So on behalf of African Watch Network, I humbly present this to you uh, for your uh, being there for them all the time. Congratulations, Kapis. Our editor in 
Ibrahim Tanko, African Watch Maritime Personality of the Year 2020. Forwarder Ibrahim Tanko was born on April 10, 1968, in Katangora Local Government Area of Niger State and started his early education in Katangora. Upon the successful completion of his secondary education victoriously with an excellent grade in the West African School Examination, WAEC, in 1985. He proceeded to Kaduna State where he obtained his higher diploma HND in management 1988. For Datanko, however, joined the Nigerian Police Force NPF in 1988, but worked for a year till he joined the maritime sector as a clearing and forwarding practitioner. This was between 1989 to 1990. The Yoktanko worked under the Kamba, a one-time former president of ANCLA between 1989 to 1993. While with Kamba, his leadership acumen was identified. He later left Kamba to start his own clearing and forwarding business and got his license to operate as a full time clearing agent in 1996. He thereafter left Ankla that year and joined National Council of Managing Directors of Licensed Customs Agents. It must be noted that he was the pioneer member of the National Council of Managing Director of, of Licensed Custom Agent in 1996, where he also made indelible mark. The modern history of the NCMDLCA would be incomplete without the robust productive effort made by Tanko to reposition the agency. It is to his credit that he fought against the unilateral withdrawal of custom licenses and saw to the restoration of their licenses. He fought task force to a standstill to reduce numerous government agencies in the port. It is equally to his credit that the NCMDLCA created chapters like KLT Tinkan, Apapa Port and Terminal Multi Services Limited, PTML, and Lily Pond. Under Loki Amowera, he was one of the line pillars and prime movers of the NCMDLCA, lending support in every possible way and encouraging the members at every turn. About two years ago, Tanko's desire to join and contest at the National Association of Government Approved Freight 
forwarders and chapter's chairman in Apapa is a clear testimony of his perseverance and tenacity to uphold what is seen to be just and fair. His philosophy of leadership is clearly defined in the expression of self-determination, fairness, love, honesty, and, instant, and sincerity. As the president of NAGAFF Western Zone, he has successfully ensured that the statutory role of monthly remittance to the national headquarters is done within the stipulated time and remain the role model to members of his zone with empowerment. Through his efforts, Nigerian Port Authority will soon convene and all stakeholders submit to discuss issues concerning maritime industry. His immense contribution to the growth of the maritime industry and humanity in Nigeria gave rise to his honor. National Gold Merit Excellence and Performance Award. Tanko is happily married and blessed with children. On behalf of Professor Andrew Adeshola Obafemi, a strategic environmental expert. Obafemi Andrew Adeshola is a professor of geography and environmental management at the University of Portacot River State, Nigeria. He holds a BSc in geography, MSc, and PhD degrees in geography and environmental management, and another MSc degree specializing in cartography. His core research interest centers on urban studies, environmental resources management, disaster risk studies, and geopartial mapping in which geoinformation techniques application, especially with cartography, GIS, and remote sensing, are well deployed. He has also developed competencies in environmental pollution monitoring and analysis, sustainability action surveying and geopositioning, safety management, disaster risk reduction, preparedness, and emergency response protocols. As an astute researcher and leader, he held many positions of responsibility and served creditably in several communities in the University of Portacot. They include Acting Head, Department of Geography and Environmental Management, Coordinator of CWES and Community Service and Departmental Examination Officer. He was a member of Faculty Standing Committee on Examination Malpractice, NUGAT 2004 LOC, Appointment and Promotion Committee, School of Graduate Studies Board, Assistant Director, Institute of Natural Resources and Sustainable Development, INRES, and Senate Representative on the Development Committee. He is at present the Director, Center for Disaster Risk Management and Development Studies and a permanent member of the Senate of University of Portacourt. Besides, Professor Bafemi has since 2016 to date been the National President of the Nigerian Cartographic Association, NCA. Professor Bafemi is an experienced academia who has successfully supervised and graduated over a hundred undergraduates, over 50 Master of Science and 8 PhD graduates. He has published extensively in his chosen field of geography and geo-information techniques in both national and internationally preferred journals, books and conference proceedings as a product of his teaching and research experience. He belongs to several national and international profession associations such as Nigerian Cartographic Association NCA, Association of Nigerian Geographers ANG, Nigerian Environmental Societies NES, 
Geo Information Society of Nigeria, GEOSON, National Registry of Environmental Profession, NREP USA, Institute of Corporate Administrator, CIA, and Institute of Planning Nigeria, IPN. He is a mapping and environmental consultant, a registered environmental manager, REM USA, a certified member of the Nigerian Institute of Safety Professional. ISPON and IPN Certified Planner, a Fellow of the Institute of Corporate Administrator, FCIA, Policy Management Development, FIPMD, Emergency Crisis and Disaster Risk Management Institute, FECDMI, and Fellow Nigerian Cartographic Association, FNCA. Apart from being an astute academia and his public office commitment, he is an experienced environmental consultant to many firms in Nigeria. Your award today is a mark of honor for your service to our fatherland. Dr. S.O. Osai, a team player driven by coercive principle. Dr. Samuel Ochonogo Osai was the former executive director, social services development of the Delta State Oil Producing Area Development Commission, the SOPADEC, and presently represented Indukwa Nation at the board. A man driven with vision, foresight, and competence, and whose activities in all human engagement is not only oriented dynamic but resourceful. He is a strategic planner, developer and tactical master policy analyst in his chosen area with proven track records in work ethic and professionalism. This contributed to his appointment as two-time member on the board of the SOPADEC by the Delta State Governor, Senator Dr. Ifanyi Okoa. Flashbackly, Dr. Sai got his first living certificate at Olo Primary School, Emuno, in 1981 and the West African Examination Council Wayek at Ebede Secondary School, Ebede, in 1986. He was later admitted to study food science and technology at the University of Nigeria in Suka, Enugu State, and graduated in 1994 with an award as the best final year student for the Department of Food Science and Technology 1992-1993 section. He also had his master's degrees in food biotechnology 2012, PhD in food engineering 2018, all from the same University of Nigeria. Dr. Sai attended several professional programs such as Computer Appreciation and Sage 15 Accounting Pitch Tree and Advanced Digital Appreciation Program for tertiary institutions. Indeed, as a man of honor and dignity, he remains an inspiration to many young men and women who also look up to him as a role model and mentor, a, a quintessential Democrat, icon of humility, and a remarkable man of peace and extraordinary gentleman. In his working career, he served as a secretary in Okwani Local Government Council Secretariat, Delta State, between 2004 to 2007. In August 2007, October 2018, he moved to Delta State University, Desu, 
where he worked as a lecturer in the Department of Vocational Education. In October 2018, May 2019, he joined Delta State Oil Producing Area Development Commission, DESOPADEC. Dr. Sai has many local and international journal publications to his credit and a few to be mentioned. Osai's SO 2013 Infant Mortality in Nigeria Assessing Knowledge of Predisposing Risk Factor Among Mothers and Bacteriological Profile of the Waning Foods, American Journal of Food and Nutrition, published by Science and Education, ETC. We are proud of your contributions in the area of building human capacity and development. Please, uh, no, wait, 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 let's it. Please, we send it again. Let's have it. Uh, yeah. Thank you. a science and technological technocrat. Engineer William Chuku de Metier started his technical college in 1964 at Sapele, where he read telecommunications, obtaining the City and Guilds of London Intermediate Certificate with distinction in all six subjects. In 1969, proceeded to study electrical engineering at the Midwestern Technical College, Auchi, where he studied with a Shell BP scholarship as a reward for his brilliant academic performance, passing out with distinctions and was the best academic student in the electrical department. Thereafter, he was employed by the same Shell BP in 1970 and left there in 1971 to study for his HND in electrical stroke electronic engineering at the Yaba College of Technology, Lagos. Again, he performed academically well. This gave him a federal government scholarship award. The young William left the college in 1973 with a distinction and became the college best overall academic prize winner of that year. In 1974, he went to the prestigious Crownfield Institute of Technology, Crownfield, England, now Crownfield University, to study industrial control systems with the Federal Government of Nigeria Petroleum Trust Fund Scholarship. There, he studied and researched into multivariable control systems. In 1976, he was admitted into the degree of Master of Science, MSc in Control Engineering, specializing in industrial control. 
by January 2010, Engina Metier started an online research studies with Walden University, Baltimore, USA, for a doctorate program in business administration, specializing in social impact management. His project's work remained a standard laboratory and experimentation equipment at the university for three decades with only minor modifications. Interestingly, William went back to the university, this time with a British Council grant in 1986, where he studied the University of Sheffield and studied glass technology, researching into stresses in glass to metal seals and finding solutions that led to the successful development of modern-day energy-saving electric bulbs. In 1982, he worked as project generation engineer when he set up the first captive independent power project, a roosting TB5000 gas turbine of 2.7 megawatts for Delta Class Company Limited. That turbine remained functional for more than three decades. Between 1991 and 1998, he coordinated the rebuilding of the 140 tons per day glass furnaces and began the development of Nigerians to take over work usually performed by expatriates. In November 2001, Engineer Metier was transferred to Better Glass PLC, Agbara, Ogun State, as operations manager, where he helped with the finance rebuild project and the commissioning of the 4 megawatt captive independent power project ipp for the huge glass containers and plastic crate manufacturing complex with an annual turnover of over 10 billion naira at that time later in 2005 he became the general manager in charge of the crown division of frigo glass industries at ijebuode ogun state in 2013, he was appointed as a senior technical advisor to the Presidential Tax Force on Power at the crucial time of the Power Sector Privatization Initiative. In 2014, he joined the Nigerian Electricity Management Services Agency NEMSA, as a senior technical advisor to the Managing Director and Chief Executive Officer and Electrical Inspector of the Federation till date. Thank you. 